There are a couple different ways to create email lists. The easiest one is to use Google Groups. However, a lot of school systems block um, teachers from creating new groups. If that's the case, you can also use your contacts in Gmail. So when you're in Gmail to access contacts, you're going to look over on the right hand side and contacts is the little person shaped icon. Click on that. And what I usually do is I open this in a new tab. At this point in time, you might already have some contacts in there. You might need to create contacts. You can do that by going to create and you can either uh, do it individually by adding one user at a time. You can also create multiple by either adding the email addresses or um, importing through a CSV file. It kind of depends on, on how you have your contacts currently. So once you have the contacts in there, the, what I usually will do is create a label. So for example, I'm going to click on these two and I'm going to create a label and we'll just call this Teresa since they're both me. Um, and now I've labeled both of them with something specific. What that does for me is when I'm going to compose an email, so I'm back in my inbox, compose the email, I can click on this little two button and here I'll see the different labels. So the label I just created was Teresa, select all. It's going to put everybody from that label. So maybe this is going to be my, you know, my wind ensemble and all the parents for wind ensemble are labeled such that. So I would click select all, insert, and there they are right there into the, um, into the email. That'll also work if you're doing a blind copy of something. Select contacts, decide which label you want to use. So that's another way that you can create an email list using Gmail.